All right, here's another 5.4 liter three valve engine that has a tick. Now it has a classic startup rattle noise from the tensioner being blown out. After that, it quiets up a bit, a bit, but then it has a constant. And um, I'm thinking this one is roller followers or more likely lash adjusters. So let's start it and listen. This side definitely. Okay, so we have this one torn apart, and man, is it bad. Look at the sludge that's just built up in this engine. It's really bad all the way around. Now, we did have some, you know, broken guides down in here, over here. Um, no big deal. We had that sharp tapping noise though, which as you can imagine can come from any one of these uh, roller followers or lash adjusters. But this is the very first thing you want to look for. Let's get some lighting back in here. And that is that one right there. You see how the cam lobe on there is all scored up even I would dare say heat checked. Yep, that's from the uh, roller on the roller follower locking up on there. So that's one indication to look for before you ever pull a cam or check anything else. Just look at those cam lobes. You'll tell you everything. See these right here? It is sludge, but they're normal. This is how they're gonna look. Shiny, even wear. Not like that. So I'll pull this cam off of here and we'll uh, look at the roller follower and see what condition it's in. All right, so let's get in here and take a closer look. Show you guys what it looks like. Pull that bad one out of here. You can see it's all chewed up on there. It won't spin anymore. It's got a flat spot right here, see it? See that flat spot on there? That's where it locked up and then the cam uh, just kind of drilled into it and made it flat. So the good thing about these is that you'll hear that noise, that constant tick, 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 tick noise well before these lock up and ruin the cam. This was just uh, neglected, I guess you could say. It was let go too long. Look at that, nice and flat. Now also, that noise can come from any kind of lash in the system, but usually it comes from the lash adjusters themselves. So you wanna go up to the lash adjusters and push on them. They should be rock hard. They'll give just a little bit, a very small amount. Otherwise, rock hard. So you wanna go through each one of these on here, no matter what they look like, and spin them by hand and look at the profile Make sure they're smooth and not damaged. I actually have a video on how to test these lash adjusters and roller followers and what to look for in detail. Um, and I'll link to that down below for you guys. But sure enough, you know, we found, we found a failed lash adjuster, or roller follower, sorry. It's late. <laughs> look at that, ground flat. So don't let yours get that far. And of course, don't let your engine get sludged up. These systems, they have a lot of moving parts. You do not want to let them get sludged up. 
and have loss of oil pressure because everything starts eating away at each other, uh, especially the phasers on this passenger side bank on the front of the cams. They need good oil pressure, good flow. Um, this side looks pretty good all the way along except for the sludge. I don't see no damage to the cam lobes. But again, you want to go through all of them on here and test them uh, the way I show you in the other video in detail. Just to make sure before you go in and start putting everything back together on here.